Hello you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, I make beauty and fashion videos. If you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I asked you on Instagram a few days ago if you want to see my 2019 favorites and even though it's already 2020 so happy new year to everybody a lot of you said yes you want to see them so i thought i sit down and film this video for you guys the first thing i'm showing you is actually the product i'm most excited about i got it in november but i can already tell you it's like my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette and if you're following me on instagram you know it's my favorite palette I'm speaking about the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1 and saying one I hope so bad that are coming more palettes soon. It's this neutral palette and I think you've seen this many times. You have five colors in different finishes like you have the matte, the sequined, the metallic and the glitter shades and they're just amazing. They're so pigmented and rich but so easy to blend. I never had an eyeshadow that was so easy to blend. You get some fallout using this palette, but for the pigmentation, it's really nothing major. You can easily work with this, it no matter if you're a beginner or you're advanced in makeup, it's amazing. And I hope they are restocking the palette soon so you can get yours if you haven't already got your one. I would really recommend this. It's a staple in everybody's makeup collection and like i said i'm really excited to see what tati comes out with next i'm watching her for years and her reviews are always on point so i trust her with everything i think and the eyeshadows doesn't disappoint me i have already uploaded a few videos using this palette so you can see how it really performs i will link them up somewhere here so you can watch them later the next thing i want to mention is really an underrated product i didn't see it on any other social platform really it's this pomade from l'oreal it's the paradise pomade ecstatic in the color brunette and i usually use a powder or a pencil to fill in my eyebrows but my sister gave this to me because it was too light for her hair and i fell in love using this it comes with a brush on top and then you screw the top off and you have the pomade in the bottom. It's the perfect color for me. It's super rich and easy to apply but not too creamy but not too stiff either. I can apply it in the morning and it stays on all day and it doesn't budge. I never had any problems with it. So I really recommend this product. It's actually the product that I'm having on my eyebrows right now and just the pomade. And what I like about this pomade, I don't have to set it so I don't need any gel to set it down because it stays on like i said all day i already mentioned my next favorite in my october favorites but i just wanted to show you them again because i really like them and these are the kat von d everlasting liquid lipsticks and i actually have four but i don't know where where the one went um i have the color lovecraft vampire and lolita here and i think i have the color ludwig also but i really don't know where it went probably in some bag but i have these colors like this dark blood red and then two pinker mauve colors. They are super opaque even though they are really thin when you're applying them. They stay on my lips for the whole day without drying them out. I used some other liquid lipsticks and I could feel them the whole day and my lips would look horrible in the evening when I remove the liquid lipstick but these doesn't do that. I can apply them in the morning and I will still have the lipstick on when I remove it at night. I have to use a cleansing balm or some oil to remove it because otherwise it stays on put. But these are really good if, and they are not too expensive if you want like invest in like one good liquid lipstick. I would recommend the Kat Von D ones. My favorite drugstore lipsticks are actually from Catrice and these are these bullet lipsticks. So like they are normal lipsticks. And these are the Demi Matte Lipsticks. And my favorite colors are the colors 090 and 060. Um, 090 is Forbidden Morph and 060 is Rouge Lala. Since they are Demi Matte, 
They are super creamy and really rich and opaque, but you can't feel them on the lips. They are, even though they are rich and opaque, the formula is super thin. So you don't feel them on the lips and I hate the feeling of lipsticks on my lips. They're just really comfortable to wear. And these are the shades that I'm really using the most. This is the color Forbidden Moth, the 090, right? And this is the color 060 Rouge La La. It's like really pretty and you can see the texture. Sorry for the super bad swatches. I try to learn a bit. But they are super affordable, about 3 years 50 I think. And you can get them in the drugstore. And they have a wide range, so you can really choose and pick what color you want. These are just my two favorites. The next favorite I have is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I tried different bronzers, but this is just the perfect tone for my skin. It's the original um, Color, the Hula original and I just have this in this little palette so I just have the travel size but I know when I finish this up I will get the full size of this product because it's like really the perfect color for my skin tone it warms my face up without looking muddy or orange but I think I don't have to talk about um, this bronzer a lot because it's on the market for so long and you probably already used it. My favorite highlighter is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and it's just wet looking. I, It's like this champagne gold color and I think it's the perfect color for a lot of skin tones and it just looks wet on the skin. It's not glittery or chunky, it's just wet looking. Then I wanted to show you the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I have it in the color diffused light and it comes in this super pretty packaging. This powder is like really fine, so when you apply it, it doesn't look cakey. It just applies evenly all over your skin. And what I noticed, it blurs out my imperfections or my larger pores. It just lays over. I know it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. I waited like four years before I bought it because I thought, I don't need a powder, I have dry skin. But it really changed um, my makeup. It stays on for hours and it just looks really good and really flawless. Speaking of flawless, um, my favorite foundation is actually this CC cream from IT Cosmetics. I have it in like a lot of these small sizes. It has really high coverage and it has an SPF of 50 and I think the skincare benefits that this product already has is amazing. It's super lightweight even though it's so full coverage and it applies evenly and I just love the finish it gives me. I'm wearing it right now. Actually, I'm wearing most of the things I already showed you right now except for eyeshadows. I used another palette um, and I used another lipstick, but the rest are actually my favorites. And I really like how my skin looks when I'm using the CC cream and it's amazing because it's so easy to apply. It doesn't look blotchy or cakey. You can apply it with your hands, with a sponge, with a brush and I think it looks always good. The next thing I want to show you are these lashes from Wish and these are just my favorite lashes. Um, I, you just type in foaming lashes on Wish and they are appearing and they are about 3 euros I think each and I can wear them up to 15 to 20 times. After I'm wearing them I clean them with a cotton bud with some makeup remover and lay them down to dry and they are good to go. They lose some hairs when I cut them to size but that's the first time then you are losing about 3-4 hairs and that's all in because there are so many hairs on this it doesn't really matter. And what I really like about them they are like um, more dimensional. It's not like one layer of lashes, they are multiple layers of lashes and so just looks super fluffy and voluminous and I really like them. I'm wearing another pair actually right now. I will link the video to this makeup look actually up in the corner so you can check it out after this video. So guys that concludes all my favorites of last year actually. I know it's not a lot compared to some others but I really wanted to show you the products I really think are worth the money and 
investing in. Maybe there are some products that you didn't heard before or you didn't try before and want to give it a go. So please let me know what you think of them. And if you already filmed a video with your favorites, please link them down below so I can check them out. And otherwise, please just comment down below and tell me what are your 2019 favorites. I'm really grateful for each and every one. And I'm so happy that I started YouTube and Instagram. I hope you liked the video and I hope you stay around for more this year. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.